Less than a year before the tragedy of 9-11 unfolded on U.S. soil, the Hampton Roads-based USS Cole was attacked by terrorists while refueling at a port in Yemen on October 12, 2000. 39 sailors were injured and 17 were killed, including 22-year-old Jerome Gunn of Virginia Beach. Jerome was a really fun guy. Um, he's, he definitely left an impression on him if you ever met him. His brother Jamal describes him as comical. He says he loved to sing and write poetry, a man that touched the hearts of many. Not just friends of ours from high school, but people who barely knew him, who I barely knew, who remember the impact that he made on, on their lives. Signalman, seaman, Sharon, Lewis, Gunn. Several events to remember the USS Cole are happening over the next few days. News 3 has covered them in the past. Jamal and his family are heading to Arlington. Then the naval base and loved ones of all the sailors are getting together. It'll be kind of a, again, like a family reunion, see everybody all over again. Jamal says he still questions why the ship stopped to refuel that day in Yemen. It would be incumbent upon me to remind everyone that the decisions of the people we put in power have a massive impact on our lives. He encourages everyone to vote. They are going to make these decisions, and we want to make sure that they're held responsible for those decisions. And he wants the memory of his brother to live on. We were really excited to see where he was going to go in life. Unfortunately, we were not able to. But I am glad that the impact that he had on, on, on our family and friends is, was truly significant. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.